So, what I do want to talk about is Australian YouTubers. Yeah. Um, we'll do a few shout-outs. We got some lads. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. No, if you could. And then also just like, if there's, is there, a, so for us, we've been told that Hamish and Andy, I know they're not YouTubers, oh, but they are like, that the goats are they the, the like goats. the, the yeah are they the that's goats the number, yeah. that's like yeah. the legend status type like hey right. and Andy is Where just, did, how did they start out? so it's radio right no what they started out so they're they're older generate like yeah. i think they're born in the 80s or whatever anyway yeah. they got big off like early 2000s tv we had this show called rove which was like the only australian kind of late night talk show mm. and used to be on like a sunday night anyway Rove had these blokes on Hamish and Andy they started off like you know young and they would just do like sort of pranks not pre-internet, but that's like the beginning of like social yeah, media yeah, yeah. internet, isn't it? They got big on Australian TV. Then they would do some pranks and they started on radio. And then they did like everyone would know this in Australia. Hamish and Andy's gap year, right? So they'd go to like USA, UK. Yeah, they did Asia, Europe, they South, did South America, America, Asia. And they just make videos like, you know, doing shit there. And this but was... It, well, this like was... vlogs. Yeah, no, like it was of. on TV, like proper TV they shows. They did a TV show. Like, and I'm like telling, Jackass like, going on tour. Yeah, like literally, like, yeah. they, they would be like top tier Australian. It, it was Hamish and Andy the Goats, bro. Prime like. time. They had the perfect TV slot and like every yeah. family would watch and it. And Rove, yeah. like, Rove put them on back in the day. Rove McManus was like yeah. early 2000s, like prime time Australian TV. They, so they're got, the lads, bro. Yeah, yeah, so you've got those guys. We've never met them, but, but they're one the lads. day. You've got to get them on your podcast yeah. at some point. Yeah, that'd be the dream. They have like the biggest podcast in Australia. They're number one. I heard of yeah. radio oh, no, true crime. Four, we have a true crime one that's yeah. big. Hamish and Andy are like they're, right they're second, there. But, but Hamish and Andy but are They were like, number one on radio for 10 years. They've bro. got their own kids now and stuff. So they're sort of like phasing out of that world and they've right. they've made their money and, yeah. and they're sort they're of like big though. hanging up the boots. Yeah. Maybe you thing. guys can replace them. Oh, that's the dream. Oh, that's, that's the dream, bro. Yeah. No, because that'd be good. That'd Channel be 9 sign us up, bro. Give me that TV Is your podcast your guys' full-time job right now? No. Are you making? No, are, you, no, are, no. are you close yeah. to maybe making it your full time job? Potentially, um, yeah. The, I think, well, we're not there yet. I think but we'd have to leave Perth for it to take yeah. off, then, then like now, to make it a thing. Back to your Perth, question. There's, not much, there's no community. You know, like how you guys obviously had that, like when you were coming up, that community. Yeah. Like, it was, it was like the a side men, all of, of like of Calix, English all of you boys. At the same like, time. Whereas we don't have that in Perth. Yeah. And I'm not sure, like, you guys would obviously know the influence you've had on a lot of people, like, um, but particularly It was like a golden age. era for you boys, like, in that like, early, like, we, like we watched type you. Shit. Yeah. We watched you. Like, we had... Oh, we had, we had Joe Sugg on, actually. Oh, yeah, Joe Sugg. I saw pod. this. Yeah. It was over Zoom, right? Yeah, yeah, because it, yeah. it was during... Like, Joe Sugg is my fucking girl. I, I love it. That's what I mean. That, he was talking about, like, that peak, like, early 2010s YouTube where yeah. you all kind of, like... He's one of the nicest other. human beings alive. He's very honestly. nice. He's very nice. so down to earth. Just a very fucking nice um, yeah, but yeah, back, get on, yeah. Back, back to your question about um, like the YouTube culture in Australia. I'd say it's building now. Um, it wasn't a thing forever. It was right? non-existent. Like, like it, it was mainly just people were watching you guys. Like, yeah. like it was everyone was watching yeah. the English YouTubers and the American ones. Um, Who were some big ones? Obviously, the like you guys had like. Laser beam and like right? you guys, the yeah. Fortnite thing. They're, like, they're not quite gaming related. Though. Yeah. yeah, it's hard because there's. Who's been big on YouTube here? Different strokes for different folks. Yeah, right. So, you got so, Racker so Racker as well. What do you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those guys obviously. I mean, they don't upload too much because YouTube. Just what do we have? Aussie YouTube. man you know reviews or something. He's pretty. Yeah. He's, he's got a great. Lot of, he's from Western that, Australia what, from Perth. What's, what's Aussie man reviews. He would just like. He does like Australia. What like premier games and a lot of shit. Yeah, a lot of voiceover work. Um. And he's actually from Perth as well. Yeah, no, the good. way I just had someone in my I used to head. love the Janoskians. The Janoskians. Yeah. Oh, that's bro, they, they fell off hard, but they were Those sick yeah, when they, they were. That's they, who I was is, just thinking is of. Is that the boy band? No, they weren't a boy band. They did. They would do that no, old so school YouTube it shit, like so drinking a liter of milk and yeah. coloured milk no, no, and no, vomited or whatever. I swear to God, they were like a boy band though. Do you guys know of Chris Lilly? Yes. Yeah. Legend. Legend of Australian. So this. Yeah. I. It was he someone high tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Jamae Private Jonah School. Jonah from Tonga, right. Jamae the, Private He school. had a from collection Tonga. of series that ran through incredible. Australia and yeah. ran riot. It was incredible. Like he it was, was the it best. Was, he was the best. And his yeah. humor was so perfect for people like us growing up yeah, who just yeah, love yeah. comedy. Like a lot of people who just love a lot of like dark humor as mm. well. He was sort of at the forefront of that in Australian culture and he did it all himself. Like he was playing every character. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then there was this like big thing that happened a few years ago, a couple of years ago, where he was cancelled by Netflix and they took all of his shows off 
For just, what? Just due to... Well, like, because it's not acceptable now, you know? Like, 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 what, the shows that he'd already made. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. like yeah. new uh, things no, 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 come no, to yeah, light or anything. No, you know no, what I mean. old stuff, yeah. Oh, Times man. Conditioned by modern standards, though, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. It's so sad to see hear that shit. It is, it is. He's a legend, though. I'm sure he's he's well off and stuff like that. What's he up to these days, then? I'm not sure. Does he just chill? I'm not sure, to be honest. We actually... He was, like, recommended to us. I don't know. We were meant to get in contact with because, like... I, as a kid, um, yeah. Summer Heights High, and all of that. Yeah. That's that was my. That's what I watched. Mm. Like that was, and I remember just like we all pass around like the YouTube link things like yeah. that. Yeah. Like back in the day, there weren't no dis. It was when you used to rate a video five stars. Right. Yeah. That's so crazy. I don't want to hear no fucking shit about. Th this was back in the day, and this guy was like a legend. He was so yeah. funny. Mate, if TikTok was it. around back then, he would have been Mate, the most one of the most incredible. followed people. Like you know, what's the clips from that show are incredible about this though. Like Dylan and I. Our friendship sort of started when we were about 15 from or 16 UK, years old. From the in between. From the in between. Oh, us, right? Go oh, in. The best the show ever made. Exactly. And I, like, oh, yeah, if you ask me what my favorite really TV show is, it is the in between. Honestly, it started yeah. year 10. So back to right. We year were 10 in maths. maths. What would oh. happen was. Just fucking hell. Wait, wait, wait. You would get yeah. seated wait, wait, wait. in maths based on your Tell test score. Yeah. So we were in advanced maths, but on the lower end of the, you know. Yeah, so we were smart. So we're dumb. So we're sitting at the front. Right, so there, there was a seating so part. He, so you were not, no, no, not, so you were so like getting, part of the smart group. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. But what happens right. is he would make a point. Like if you got the lowest score in the test, you sit at the front of the class because you concentrate right better the teacher, apparently because you need yeah. help, whatever. So then, you know, we start chatting and before you know it, the in between is mate. That's why we're here today. Yeah. That is wow. amazing. It's the best, one of the best shows hey, you ever. Know, you know, you haven't seen it. I know what's it. Is that what he wears Wait, it as a sing... badge of pride. I thought it's the that was like a UK thing. like ride right of honor. No, trust me. No, every single is. person in the UK has watched the show. He I didn't grow up there it. though. Right. Yeah. I'm you, an international I mean, breed. So when, still, when did you, you move watch to England? It. Uh, when I was like 15. When it would have been coming out. Wait, yeah, where perfect were you originally age. from? <laughs> I was born in London. Did you say perfect age? Yeah, that, that, you would mean like, age. No, you had to Great watch. Where are you from originally? You were born in London. I was born in London. I lived in Vietnam. Russia, yeah. Egypt, Scotland. What for? What? Work, parents work. Uh, my dad's work. What was the biggest shithole? I love that they, they were all better than the UK. So, even the UK. What, so, where you, Vietnam, so where are you? Russia. London. Even <laughs> Russia was better than the UK. Yeah, Russia Russia, Russia was a bit nuts. I got Just because stories. I know yeah. the weather's a bit harsh. Yeah. I, have to, I have to go through to, the Russia story. Where else did you say? Vietnam, Vietnam Russia. What's that? Egypt. Uh, and Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. Egypt. Oh. Egypt before the revolutions. I've heard uh, I've heard some some pretty bad mm. stuff about it recently, but at the time I was there, it was definitely would my you, favorite. Would you, would you say, like, if you had to just like, say what you are, because I would probably, if someone came to me and said, where's Capri's from? I'd say, oh, it's from many places, but I would probably say, where's what you're from? Scottish. Right. Oh. That's what I would are say. You would you, oh, yeah, I you thought you were Scottish. Would you say that, yeah, you yeah, say yeah, that yeah, by yourself? Yeah. Would you say yeah. you're Scottish or would you say English? Because oh, you get to say both, I guess. You ready for this one? Yeah. So, so it's brave part of the queen. This one's gonna be fucking. This one's for the queen. I'm British. Oh. Ah, the queen. there we go. I'm British. 